This video covers flocking a dash pad. Make sure to watch part one where I repaired this old cracked dash pad to where it is now. And remember to subscribe and ring that bell. For this flocking, I'll be using the Flock It gun. Fill up the flocking gun with flock in the color of your choice. The gun's nozzle should face up. Mix up some of the black flocking glue. Use tape to mask off the area where you don't want glue to stick. Apply flocking glue to the dash. I used a brush, but a better method would have been either spraying or rolling the glue. Turn down your air compressor to under 20 PSI. Then apply heavy amounts of flock to the glued area. Carefully flip the dash and avoid laying the pad where the wet glue and flock was just applied. Apply glue to the top of the dash pad. I used a brush, but I realized afterwards that the brush lines showed up after I flocked the dash. A roller or a spray gun is a better option for applying the glue. Apply a liberal amount of flock to the dash pad. More is definitely better in this case. Once the glue has dried overnight, I sprayed off the loose fibers with an air nozzle. And unfortunately, the brush strokes from the glue showed up in the flock. A huge disappointment for me. So I took the flocking glue and thinned it out with some mineral spirits. I used a super cheap mini spray gun from Harbor Freight. However, a larger spray gun probably would have worked a little bit better. Spray the glue on the previously flocked areas. And then blast more flocking powder on the fresh glue. Repeat the process on the top of the dash. After curing overnight, spray off the excess flock. I used a soft brush to remove any loose fibers. Remove the masking tape. Unfortunately, the second flocking layer doesn't look quite as good as the first layer, but it still looks good regardless. Carefully reinstall the dash pad. Because I had to do two layers of flock, 
the flocking doesn't respond well to pressure, so try not to squeeze it too hard with your fingers when you're reinstalling it in the car. The flocking looks amazing in person, especially under direct sunlight. It also blocks reflections from the windshield, which is also a big benefit. A word of warning, because I had to flock over a layer of flock, the dash pad is a little bit sensitive to pressure, so like a headliner, try not to touch it. Make sure to subscribe and ring that bell, and follow me on Instagram for updates on videos.